I decided to write about, about human trafficking because it's perhaps the most compelling justice issue of our time. We're taught in history class that slavery ended with the Civil War, when in reality, there are more slaves alive in the world today than ever before. I saw sort of a, a, a niche for me to be able to bring it into fiction. Fiction has the power to really change a person's way of seeing the world so that it really engages the intellect, but it also engages the heart. One of the things I wanted to do was, was to make, make it personal, as personal as I could make it for my readers. And so in order to do that, I had to, to dive as deep as I could dive and, and be as vulnerable as I could be in listening and learning. So indeed, I did go into the, a number of welcome brothels in Kamatapur, which is the major red light district in, uh, in Mumbai. Thankfully, I had a guide. I had an individual who knew his way around and had the trust of the pimps and the brothel owners. So he was able to sort of get me in the door. I saw these, these girls who were brought out and it was all behind closed doors. You know, the shades were drawn, everything else. Um, and they walked out and they were there for me to purchase if I wanted to. Uh, some of them looked at the floor, some of them looked at me. I'll never forget, you know, looking into their eyes and seeing this void, this, this combination of sadness and fear. I realized that I had had a, a life-altering experience, that, that I had not only seen what I needed to see to write the story, but that it had embedded itself in me in a very personal way that I would never forget. If you really empathize and put yourself in the position as much as you can of, of a girl who uh, you know, has a life, has a family, she finds herself uh, you know, essentially captive to traffickers, to brothel owners, and then gets serially raped over the course of days, weeks, months, sometimes years. It's sort of unthinkable. You really get the horror of it, and also, beautifully, the stories of redemption have an element of hope. I hope that, you know, reader will, will read the story and really involve him or herself uh, in the characters and in the issues so that by the end, you know, they can say not only have I read a good book, but I also feel like I know something more about my world.